Hello everyone, my name is Miss Pierce Delicious from Canada's Drag Race Season 3 and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing makeup tutorials every week for all my runways and today we're going to get started with my promo look. So watch me go from this to this. Okay, I'm really annoying with my makeup. I like to get started on something and then I'll come back to it later. But just trust the process, follow along, and it'll look gorgeous in the end. So we're gonna start first with the brows. As you can see, I've shaved off the ends of my brows and I'm just gonna draw them higher to give me more room to play with eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm gonna do to lay my brows flat is to get some hair gel and I am going to rub it into my brows kind of like against the grain so it really gets in the brow hairs. And then I'm gonna take a spoolie and I'm going to brush these brow hairs up and I'm gonna brush them flat. And just to get them really nice and flat, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to press on the brow hairs and really flatten them. And now to speed up the drying process, I'm gonna take a blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm gonna dry these briars. Okay, my contacts are in, so let's get back to the brows. So I'm gonna use an angled brush and a brow pomade and I'm going to extend my eyebrows. So I'm gonna take a little bit of product. You don't wanna go too crazy because then it gets too dark. So start off light and then get heavier if you need to. Doesn't need to be perfect because, first of all, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And also, I'm gonna go in after and clean it up with concealer and make sure it's snatched. Okay, so now I'm going to take a flat concealer brush and I'm going to take my highlight shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and carve my brows and just shape them up a little bit more. So I've carved it out and now I'm also going to take some of that product and I'm gonna blend it downwards and I'm gonna use that as a base for my eyeshadow to make the colors pop more. Now that it's all blended out, I'm going to take a white eyeshadow and a small fluffy brush and set that cream. Anytime that you use a cream on your face, you want to set it with a powder so it doesn't budge. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes. So I like to do my eyes first before moving on to the rest of the face just to avoid any fallout from the eyeshadow like ruining my makeup. So let's get started with that first. So for today's eye look, we're going to be doing a pink and yellow full cut crease to match the colors of my promo look. We're gonna start out by tracing the shape of my crease. So I'm gonna take a flat brush, a very thin brush, and I'm gonna take some pink eyeshadow and I'm gonna trace out the shape that I want. I'm gonna start from the inner corner of my eyes and wing it upwards to create that little snatched effect. Now that I've traced out the shape, I'm going to take a small little fluffy blending brush. I'm going to take a lighter pink eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that out. When you're blending, you want to use a very light hand. So I would hold the brush like here instead of here because you have more control when you're doing this. So it comes off like heavier. But if you hold it towards the end of the brush, it's easier to blend out with a lighter hand. I'm trying to create a gradient where the darkest is closer toward the crease and then it fades out. So you wanna concentrate the color and have it be darker in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to take a small concealer brush and I'm gonna take a yellow cream and I'm gonna cut my crease. Yeah, so I have a bit of yellow cream on my brush and I'm gonna slowly go in. I'm not gonna do it all in one swipe. I'm gonna take my time and slowly cut the crease. So now that I've cut my crease, I'm gonna take a small, dense eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take a uh, eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use a, um, a loose pigment, but you can use a yellow eyeshadow or whatever you have. I just like this pigment because it's very bold and neon. 
like with a brow up gorge. But any like eyeshadow will work for this. So I'm done the eyes for now. I'm gonna add more to them after, but I'm just gonna finish my base first before we finish the eyes. So now we're gonna move on to the base. Before I get started with my foundation, I'm going to prep my face first using moisturizer and a primer. You wanna make sure your skin's nicely moisturized before you put on your foundation so it's not like sticking to any like dry parts of your face or whatever. So, prep your face. All right, now that my face is prepped and primed, I'm now going to color correct before I put on my foundation. So I'm gonna use an orange cream and I'm going to color correct my beard area and any other areas where I have discoloration. You wanna use a color corrector because when you put on your foundation over just your normal skin, you're gonna see the blue tones coming through from any facial hair or discoloration. So the orange cancels out the blue color theory. So my promo look, I wanted to go for, you know, a nice Victoria Secret Angel model moment. Obviously I showed a lot of body in my promo look and I think like people kind of expected that for me. So for my promo and my entrance look, I was like, let me just give people what they expect and then on the runway, I'm gonna gag them. Make sure to tune in for my runways every week. Before you move on to your foundation, you wanna make sure to set that color corrector because otherwise it's just gonna mix it together with your foundation. So I'm gonna take a little powder puff and I'm really gonna press that in. All right, so now we can move on to foundation. So I'm gonna use a cream foundation for the lower half of my face because it has more coverage and that's where I need like more coverage. The rest of my face, I'm gonna use a liquid which is not as full coverage just because I don't need that much coverage on the rest of my face. So I'm gonna focus the coverage on the lower half of my face. I'm also gonna use a foundation brush just because I find that these are more dense and it doesn't soak up as much product as a sponge. And you wanna make sure to blend down your neck, otherwise it looks like you're just wearing a mask. When you're using a foundation brush, you wanna use, do like buffing motions and not like smear it on your face because then you're gonna end up with brush strokes all over your face. Now I'm gonna highlight my face. I'm gonna use another foundation. This one's gonna be a few shades lighter than my skin tone. And this is gonna bring certain areas of my face forward. So when you're highlighting, the light hits your face and the high points of your face reflect light and these are points that I want to emphasize. So I'm going to use my concealer brush again. I'm gonna highlight the center of my forehead. I'm gonna do the bridge of my nose. I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and my cheeks. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow. My chin. And underneath my cheekbones, just to emphasize them when I contour them. For this part, I'm going to use a sponge to blend it out. So now I'm going to set my face. And I'm gonna take a large fluffy brush and just remove all the excess powder. I'm gonna go in again and just highlight the same areas. All right, now I'm gonna go in and contour. Contouring is receding certain parts of your face to make them look smaller. So I'm gonna contour my forehead, my nose, my jawline, my cheeks to make them look more snatched. So I like to use a bronzer for certain areas of my face. Take my very fluffy brush, I'm gonna place it, place my bronzer around my forehead. I'm gonna do my cheeks and my jawline as well. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker contour shade just to emphasize my cheekbones a little bit. 
Now I'm gonna contour my nose. So for my nose contour, I'm gonna use a cool tone powder just to create a shadow because if I use a bronzer, which is a warm tone, it's gonna attract more attention to my nose. So I've already highlighted on the bridge of my nose, so I'm gonna go along the sides of where I've highlighted. And yeah, there it is. A very faint shadow, nothing too intricate. Now we're gonna move on to blush. So I'm gonna take a nice coral shade and a cute little fluffy blush brush, and I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks. I'm not gonna go too high with my blush because I wanna create a more snatched look this week. Okay, so I'm not done with my base yet, but I'm gonna move back to my brows and my eyes first before I finish the rest. So now that I've used all that powder, it's kind of gotten into my brows a bit, it's lost a bit of color, so I'm gonna use a very thin brow pen and I'm gonna draw very small hairs in and create some more dimension in my brows. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow glitter onto my lid, and I'm gonna use some lash glue to apply that. Okay, now I'm gonna use that same flat brush that I used to get the glue, and I'm gonna get my glitter and just place it all over the lid. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner, and I'm just gonna create a nice winged liner. Then I'm gonna connect that to the center of my eye. I'm gonna go in with a pink eyeshadow again, this time just fill in my under eyes. So I'm gonna use a flat, smudging eyeshadow brush. Now I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner and I'm going to extend the inner corners of my eyes and also fill in my waterline a little bit just to create a more wide open eye effect. Now the annoying part, I'm going to add a bunch of stones to my eyes. I'm going to use some lash glue again, and I'm just going to place that lash glue on my crease, and then I'm going to use some tweezers and add the stones. Now I'm pretty much done with the eyes, almost. I just have to go back and put some mascara and lashes on, but before I do that, I'm going to finish my highlight, and also set my face. If you want that really bright, glowing highlight on your cheekbones, I'm gonna set my face first with a setting spray, and then I'm gonna put my highlight on top of that, and that's gonna stick to the setting spray, and it's gonna be even more blinding. Look at that, bitch, okay. Also going to highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna highlight the bridge of my nose. And that just creates a cute little snatch little button nose effect. Now I'm going to move on to my lips. So I like to overline my lips just a little bit. To make it look more natural, I'm gonna create an ombre effect. So I'm gonna go in with a darker shade and overline my lips, and then I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and blend that in together just to make it all look seamless. Now I'm gonna go on top of that with a gorgeous gloss. So now we're gonna finish off this look by completing the eyes. So I'm going to first apply some lash glue to my lashes. And I'm going to let this dry for like a minute. Cause if you just put your wet lashes onto your eyes, you're gonna start like drooping and not staying in the exact position that you want. So I'm gonna take my mascara and completely cover my lash just to make them blend in nicely with my boss lashes. I'm gonna try and get it as close to my lash line as possible, but the outer corner, I'm gonna lift it a little bit just to give a more lifted eye look. All right, so there we have the completed makeup look. I'll be right back once I get my full outfit. the completed look. Thank you for tuning in to my first makeup tutorial. Make sure to tune in every single week. I will be doing tutorials for all my makeup looks for the season. 
I did completely different looks for every single one of my runways, so tune into those. And make sure to watch Canada's Drag Race July 14th on Crave if you're in Canada or WOW Presents Plus internationally. You are not ready for this season, honey. The looks, the personalities, the drama. Girl, we've got it all. Make sure to like and comment on this video if you guys like the video. Let me know what other videos you wanna see from me. I might be spilling a little bit of tea on the episodes as we go along. And stay fierce. Mwah.